So let us uh, discuss uh, today's lecture. Today we will discuss uh, separability of some classical Banach spaces. Separable Banach spaces, okay, separable Banach spaces. So this is the theorem. First, what is uh, LP is separable. If uh, if one less or equal to P less than infinity, then uh, this little LP, okay, this is a separable is a separable. Banach spaces, Banach space. Okay. Now second, C and C zero. The spaces C and C zero. They are also separable spaces. The spaces C and C zero are separable. This C zero is not a Banach space. Okay, this one. Or separable or separable and the third part is L infinity because you have per P permanent condition dali one less or equal to P and P is less than infinity so now uh, uh, we have the another space that's called L infinity which is also Banach space but that space is not separable so the space L infinity is not separable. The space L infinity is not is not separable. Okay. So these are three parts of the theorem. First part L P is separable for one less or equal to P less than infinity. Second, the space C zero and C and C zero. C means set of all convergent sequences, and C zero means uh, set of all sequences which converges to zero they are also separable and the finally the space l infinity is not separable proof first part let's uh, define this family uh, define this set define Curve F. It is the set of all sequences with rational coefficients. Uh, it's this space, okay? It's R one, R two, then R n, and then the other rest of the terms are zero. So that means the sequences which are eventually. Uh, Zero sequences actually. They belong to LP. Okay. This is the member of LP with the, such that Ri is is rational for one less or equal to i less or equal to n. And what is this n? This is n greater or equal to n. n is any positive integer greater or equal to one. Let's take this uh, uh, this set of sequences with rational entries. Okay, R1, R2, R finite rational entries only. So for n equal to one, it's just R1 then 0, 0, 0. For n equal to two, it's R1, R2 then 0, 0, 0. So n varies from one to infinity. Then since we know that set of rationals is countable, therefore this f is also countable. Since since uh, the set of rationals, because we know that the countable union of countable sets is again a countable set. Since the set of rationals is countable, is is countable set of rationals is countable, and and countable union of countable sets. 
and countable the union of countable sets is countable is is countable so therefore f is countable therefore therefore f is is countable subset of l is is a countable subset of is a countable subset of l p तो ये एक काउंटेबल सबसेट है एल पी का हमें प्रूव करना है कि एल पी सपरेबल है सपरेबल तभी होगा जब इसके पास काउंटेबल डेन सबसेट होगा तो ये तो हमने चेक कर लिया कि ये काउंटेबल सेट है ना वी सी दैट दिस इज डेंस इन एल पी सो अब वी शो दैट एफ इज डेंस इन एल पी वी शो दैट एफ इज एफ इज डेंस इन एल पी सो एल पी में डेंस होने के लिए आपको क्या चाहिए फॉर एनी एफ्ट फॉर टू एंड फॉर फॉर एनी एलमेट इन एल पी यू वॉन्ट यू हैव टू फाइंड एन एलमेट इन एफ सच दैट नॉर्म ऑफ द डिफरेंस ऑफ दीज टू एलमेट शुड बी लेस दैन एफ स्टार सो लेट लेट एफ स्टार बी पॉजिटिव नंबर चूज एनी एफ स्टार पॉजिटिव एंड एनी मेम्बर एक्स ऑफ एल पी एंड एक्स बिलोंग्स टू एक्स मीन दैट मीन दिस एक्सेस यू कैन स्पी एथ पॉवर X is in LP. So, so where this X is, this sequence, okay? It's X n, n runs from one to infinity. So this is sequence in LP. So since uh, uh, since we have this summation, mod of X and pth power, pth power, convergent. So whenever we have a convergent series, then for each epsilon positive, I can find some n naught such that the sum of the series from n naught is less than this epsilon. Okay, given any epsilon. So therefore, therefore, therefore we can we can choose some n naught greater or equal to one such that summation. And runs from n not to infinity, n not to infinity, mod of x n power p because p th power is summable, it's p th power convergent, uh, so it's less than epsilon. Where you ch we choose epsilon here, epsilon power p divided by two. Okay. So again, uh, these rationals they are denison. Since uh, since rationals are denison, uh, so we have say r one, r two, r and not minus one. They are rational numbers. Now since rationals are denis, since since rationals are are denison, or or we can find rational numbers. But real uh, real is denis actually. Don't. Rational. This is also true. Real. Yeah. This is also denison. So, but uh, we do it like this. Oh, it's right. Since it's rational, so since since rationals, since it's rationals uh, are dense, are denison, are. So this uh, x one x two they are real numbers. So we are treating L P as a real norm in space. So for complex complex, uh, its complex version follows from this real version actually, because uh, because when whenever we have a complex uh, sequence, uh, so we can uh, uh, we can uh, then uh, then uh, then then this the real part of this sequence will be the real sequence. So for the real sequence we have. Uh, We will do this. So it's actually it is uh, sufficient. It suffices to prove the result for real species now. Because for complex we can separate the real and imaginary parts. So for real part is the real sequence and the imaginary part is the imaginary is again the real sequence. So and for the real sequence, if you do the result for real sequence, then it will easily follows for 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 this complex uh, linear space. So that's why we do it for only real space. So here these x i they are only real numbers. They are not complex. Okay. 
okay so since the rationals are dense in r now these x1 x2 up to x n not minus 1 they are all real so on the first n not minus 1 term they are also real so for these n not minus 1 real terms i can find n not minus 1 rational numbers such that the difference between these two numbers will be can be made uh, very small or very small so uh, so so since rationals are dense in r so we can find we can find we can find rational numbers rational numbers say r1 r2 r and not minus 1 such that the distance between ri minus the real number x i is less than can be made arbitrary small so let's take uh, this uh, epsilon power p divided by n naught twice n naught okay this is uh, true for all i for all i runs from 1 to up to n naught minus 1 this can number for one run this year is going to second run this year second name it second okay so uh these are finite number of rational finite rationals okay so then this uh, then the sequence then then this sequence s which is consisting of these terms r1 r2 or n naught minus one the rest of the terms are zero this is an f because f is consisting of such sequences with rational entries so this is an f and and let's find the norm of x minus f the distance between x and the x which you had taken in lp if you can lp me ek element choose kya or epsilon aapne koi positive number choose kya aapko ek aisa element chahiye f se such that the distance between x and that element should be less than epsilon so that element is s actually jo aapne yahan par define kiya hai so this distance x minus uh, or you can see s minus x s minus x it's norm okay pf norm let's take uh, the power p then we can take uh, pf root on both sides so this is equal to s minus x okay what's s s is this we can okay this one r1 r2 r n naught minus one then rest of the terms are zero minus it's your norm okay that x x is x1 x2 so somewhere is x naught minus one then x n naught and so on and so forth so we don't have here zero on this for this x okay so what's in, what's what's this this is equal to this is now the difference of two so you can see it will be equal to r1 minus x1 okay first term then n naught minus one of term is r n naught minus one minus x n naught minus one then we have zero minus okay it will be minus x n naught then minus x n naught plus one so on and so forth pf norm power p okay so here it's again pf norm on this side and then we have power p here again now so what's this uh, pf norm uh, what's pf norm pf norm is is equal to it is summation okay it is the it, it is the summation summation or uh, you can just write it like this it's mod of r1 minus x1 power p plus plus mod of r n naught minus one minus x n naught minus one power p then plus uh, this x n naught it's it, it's actually minus mod of minus x n naught so it's just x n x n naught power p plus so on and so forth then the uh, then the agar sirf norm p hota then there would be one power p okay whole power one p but here is a power p so that p and one over p that will go so uh, this is a uh, mod of x1 minus uh, r1 minus x1 power p plus dot 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 plus mod of x n naught minus one minus x uh, plus uh, this r n naught minus one minus x n naught minus one power p 
then we have x n naught power p then x n naught plus 1 power p then this will be an infinite series here with p powers okay pth power series it is so i can uh, again uh, write it as this is equal to this is equal to summation i runs from 1 to n naught minus 1 okay mod of uh, x i or r i it is one and the same thing x i minus r i power p plus the summation i runs from n naught to infinity mod of uh, this, this x i power p okay and not onwards specific of k plus x i is here okay now this one each sum each each difference is less than epsilon power p divided by 2 power n naught so each one so this is less than summation i runs from 1 to n naught minus 1 this difference x i minus r i you can see here what's the difference this you can see x i minus r i okay r, r i minus x i this difference is less than epsilon power p divided by 2 n naught so let's substitute this value here it's uh, it's epsilon power p okay epsilon power p is it, uh, it's uh, eps, xi minus yi power p so sorry so i should uh, mention here this should write at that this is uh, let's let's write it. it's power p on this side also okay it's got a change key here your equation 2 here ri minus inequality to ri minus xi power p here less than epsilon power p divided by 2 i7 so again uh, the reason is same because the rationals are dense in reals okay <coughs> so uh so let's come to this point again so this difference it's epsilon power p divided by two i's n naught okay then plus this sum n naught to infinity xi power p what's this sum so you can see it from from one x n power p n runs from n naught to infinity so it's less than epsilon power p divided by two epsilon power p divided by 2 okay epsilon power p this sums for huh? epsilon power p divided by 2 okay S summation circuit is equal. Okay. now it's by 1 and 2 okay so uh, uh now this uh, this this number this number which is under this summation it's independent of the sum so this you are adding this number n not minus one times actually so this is equal to n not minus one times epsilon power p divided by two is n not okay plus epsilon power p divided by two okay okay now uh, this n naught minus 1 divided by 2 i said that it is strictly less than n naught this can be easily verified because for n naught equal to 1 or for n naught equal to it, it will be 0 then so that for n naught equal to 2 it will be uh, say 2 minus 1 that's 1 divided by 2 1 divided by 2 it is less than 1 so uh, in fact it's less than 1 by 2 at each for each value of n naught for n naught uh, equal to 1 the numerator is 1 and the denominator is 2 for n naught equal to 3 say if the numerator is 2 the denominator is 4 so it will be 3 by 4 which is, uh, it will be 3 by 4 which is again less than 1 by 2 okay so uh, either it's equal to 1 by 2 or less than so it's less or equal to, i can write it's less or equal to 1 by 2 times epsilon power p plus epsilon power p divided by 2 so you are adding two halves of epsilon power p so it will be epsilon power p okay so uh this uh, is here uh, it's mod of s minus x p at norm power p is less than epsilon power p okay so uh we have this implies norm s minus x p at norm 
power p is less than epsilon power p and p and p will go this means norm of s minus x its pf norm is less than epsilon so that means that means this f is it's tension it's tension lp and hence lp is separable and hence lp is separable for one lesser equal to p less than infinity it's separable space now the next part uh, in which we have to show the c and c0 see for the c uh, for c0 the proof is similar okay similar to one okay. for c0 the proof is similar to one okay it's similar to one now uh, for c for c what we do for c so for c what we do for c for c we define the com first we just have to lp ke liye f ko define kiya na countable set ko ab c ke liye bhi c naught ke liye ab f ko bhi define karoge jo apne lp ke liye but for c what we what we do we define we define we define f like this okay it's a uh, those we can say it's actually they are actually even twenty constants we can see even twenty constants so eventually comes mean up after some finite stage uh, so but we can see constants can see means uh, stable so uh, we take uh, the rational coefficient such that the vectors are eventually constant okay we take uh, uh, this uh, eventually constant we can take uh, or we can take up a wall of space we list like you have already liana f will be because they are also eventually constant uh, and they are eventually constant and eventually zero actually so you can eventually zero so you can see because you have to have a r n k bath zero to zero to zero to but you have to have koi be eventually constant so you can list at the or c zero me up ko kuki c zero space kya it's the set of all so you can see which converges to zero so you have to be up ko f kya liana hai set up all sequences with rational coefficient they are eventually zero kyunki aapko wo jo sequence hai na wo c0 mein aani chahiye c0 ke liye condition kya hai uska limit zero ke barabar hona chahiye is wajah se is c0 ke liye f aap wahi define karo kyunki usme wo hai wo wo sequences hai jo ki converge kis par ho rahi hai zero par because they are eventually zero sequences but for c you need only a convergent sequence you don't need a converges to zero so so uh, you can take uh, uh, that f also but you can take any f here you can take this so you can see in particular r1 r2 so on r then you choose any constant number not necessarily zero not necessarily zero okay ab uh, ab masla ye hai ki kya lp mein aap aisa nahi kar sakte aap koi non zero number nahi le sakte suppose aap 1 1 1 1 1 nahi le sakte is kya तो वहां पर प्रॉब्लम क्रिएट होती है क्योंकि वहां पर आपको सम करना था टर्म उसको तो वो जो सम है ना दैट विल डाइवर्ज अब सम क्योंकि फाइनाइट होना चाहे इसलिए वो बाकी सारी टर्म्स हमने एन से आगे जो भी टर्म्स हमने ली है वो हमने जीरो लिए तो सम सिर्फ पहले सिर्फ एन टर्म्स का आ जाएगा दैट विल बी अ फाइनाइट नंबर तो दैट्स वाई फॉर एल पी वी टेक जीरो 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 एंड फॉर सी जीरो वी ऑल्सो टेक जीरो 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 बिकॉज वी मस्ट टेक अस विच कन्वर्ज टू जीरो बट फॉर सी वी Only take the convergence sequences. So convergence के लिए आप one one भी दे सकते हो two two भी even any even जो भी constant sequences. Okay. So, so what's uh, this? Uh, R i is the rational number. R i is rational. R i is is rational. In particular, यहाँ पर आप zero zero भी ले सकते हो. Okay. मगर L p में आप one one नहीं ले सकते. तो यहाँ पर आप zero यहाँ पर आप कोई भी constant term इसकी ले सकती हो. Whether it's one, 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 two, 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 any constant. Okay. So R i is rational for one lesser equal to i, lesser equal to n, and this n is greater or equal to one. So this is the set of the rational vectors which are even chivalry constant. Even chivalry constant means after some finite stage, each term of the sequence remains same. Okay. जैसे आपके पास कॉन्स्टेंट सीक्वेंस जिसके हर कोई टर्म से वन 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 है दैट्स कॉल्ड कॉन्स्टेंट सीक्वेंस इवन चूली कॉन्स्टेंट कॉन्स्टेंट का मतलब क्या है पहले कुछ फाइनाइट टर्म्स वो सेम नहीं रहेगी 
कुछ कॉन्सेप्ट टर्म्स बट आफ्टर सम फाइनाइट स्टेज ऑल द टर्म्स विल बी सेम देयर दो दो सीक्वेंस आर कॉल्ड इवेंचुअली कॉन्सेप्ट सीक्वेंसेस सो लेट्स टेक दिस एफ व्हिच इज द सेट ऑफ सीक्वेंसेस विद रैशनल कोफिशिएंट्स एंड दे आर आल्सो इवेंचुअली कांस्टेंट देन दिस एफ इज ओबियसली काउंटेबल देन एफ इज एज रैशनल आर काउंटेबल देन एफ इज काउंटेबल और अब आपको क्या करना है अब आपको प्रूव करना है वी शो दैट वी शो दैट दिस एफ इज दिस एफ इज डेंस इन सी तो प्रूफ इज सिमिलर द प्रूफ इज सिमिलर इज द रिमेनिंग पोर्शन द रिमेनिंग प्रूफ इज सिमिलर इट्स इट्स नाउ इट इज सिमिलर नाउ इट इज सिमिलर टू वन सिमिलर टू वन इसके आगे वही है जो आपने वन में किया है सिर्फ मैंने यहाँ पर एफ को चेंज किया है आप एफ को ना भी चेंज करें तो आप भी ये वाइस ही आ जाएगा जिस अब इसका जो थर्ड पार्ट है एल इनफिनिटी विच इज नॉट सपरेबल एल इनफिनिटी इज नॉट सपरेबल दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एल इनफिनिटी थर्ड पार्ट थर्ड पार्ट एल इनफिनिटी इज not separable l infinity is not separable okay so what is l infinity it's actually develop l when you have already kiya hai l1 star is l infinity so that means develop separable space need not be separable kyunki l1 ko apne prove kiya it's separable aapne prove kiya lp is separable for any value of p which So that one less are equal to p less than infinity. So L one separable hai, but its dual is L infinity, which will show that it's not separable. L infinity is not separable. So develop separable space need not be separable. So यहाँ से आप इसको conclude कर सकते हैं इस part से. So uh, assume on the contrary that L infinity is separable. Assume. Assume on. contrary that l infinity is separable to agar is separable hoga then it has a denumerable it has a countable then subset and let let d be its countable then subset suppose d countable then subset d be its countable then subset d is the countable then subset Now, what we do? Uh, uh, you know that uh, this uh, this uh, if we have uh, any set X, if we have any set X, so whatever it it may be infinite or finite set, then uh, you talk about the power set of X. Then you know that uh, these two sets now, X set and this P of X, it is the power set of X. so we don't have a bijection between x and power stuff x in fact the cardinality of x is always strictly less than cardinality of power stuff x so ye jo aapne kiya hai ye aapne msc1 msc1 ka jo course hai na topology ka jahan par aapne countable aur uncountable sets ko discuss kiya wahan par aapne ye cheez dekhi hogi there is no bijection between the set a and its power set okay we don't have bijection So we don't have budget. That means their cardinality is not same. This power stuff A, its cardinality is strictly greater than power stuff this A. The cardinality of A, like in case of finite, finite case is trivial because for finite, suppose we have a cardinality of A, suppose two, then what's the cardinality of power stuff A? It's uh, it's two power two. That's equal to four. So this is true for for finite case. It's it's very simple. But for infinite case, it is also true. Cardinal cardinality always increases. strictly increase aap a low set fir iska power set aap lo iski jo cardinality hogi it's greater than the cardinality of a fir iska power set lo power set a ka power set p a p a p iski cardinality b isse badi hogi to cardinality jo hai ye increase hoti hai aur uh, the continuum hypothesis it states that uh, so we don't have we, jaise jaise finite ke case mein dekhiye kya hai iski cardinality 2 hai 
जो पावर सेट है इसका इसकी कॉर्डनेलिटी फोर है एंड वी हैव अ सेट हुज कॉर्डनेलिटी लाइज बिटवीन टू एंड फोर है ना आपके पास सेट ऐसा है जैसे आपके पास कोई से, आप कोई भी सेट डिफाइन कीजिए जैसे बी आप ये सेट कीजिए डिफाइन ए बी सी इसकी कॉर्डनेलिटी क्या है इसकी कॉर्डनेलिटी थ्री है सो वी हैव अ सेट हुज कॉर्डनेलिटी लाइज बिटवीन कॉर्डनेलिटी ऑफ ए एंड द कॉर्डनेलिटी ऑफ द पावर सेट ऑफ ए इन केस ए इज फाइनट but it's not true in case a is infinite set we don't have any set whose cardinality lies between the cardinality of a and the cardinality of power of a so this is called a continuum hypothesis now uh, this uh, so uh, uh, ye main yahan par kyun keh raha hu iska reason kya hai let's uh, this uh, so uh, let uh, let Let's take uh, this uh, f, which 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 is the power, which is the family of all subsets of n. That f is equal to power set of the set of natural numbers. Set of natural numbers ki coordinate kya hai? L f naught hai. Iski coordinate to power set of n iski coordinate L f naught se badi hogi. That's the C, that continuum C. Okay. So then, then then coordinate of power set of A is C. कंटिन्यूम ओके सो वी डोंट हैव एनी कॉर्डनेलिटी बिटवीन दीज टू कॉर्डनेलिटीज सी एंड एलेक्ट so this f is uh, it's the its cardinality is c it's uncountable so this f is uncountable is it its cardinality is same as the cardinality of the set of real numbers okay is uncountable is this set is uncountable so next uh, uh, we are uh, choose any subset of n so let for each for each member f in this cursive f so cursive f means the the call this the family of subsets of n let's choose this p in f which is uh, the power set of n so that means this uh, capital f it's actually the subset of n we define for this f we define the characteristic function of f over n to so define this chi f sorry it's chi f define chi f which is a function from set of natural numbers to obviously it's r or you can take a 0 1 as well it is not problem or you can take r the range set is consisting of only 2 point that's 0 and 1 So let's say uh, this. Define this. The characteristic function. It is the characteristic function. It is the characteristic function of f in n of f capital F. Okay, of f in n. Okay, how many here? But two minutes. Ka n liya hai. Okay, what's the definition? That is. That is chi f of m is one if m is in this f, the subset of set of natural numbers, and it's zero if m is not in f. M is a natural number because it's a function from n to r. Okay, so this is uh, the characteristic function of f in n. Now let's take any two uh, sets, uh, any two unequal sets, two distinct sets in F. Let F one, F two belongs to F. So that this F means the power stuff, and that means they are subsets of N, such that they are not equal, such that F one is not equal to. F. So f one is not equal to f two means that there is a point in f one which is not in f two, or there is a point in f two which is not. कोई ना कोई point तो आपको मिलेगा. 
कोई ना कोई नेचुरल नंबर ऐसा होगा जो एन वन में होगा जो एफ वन में होगा मगर एफ टू में नहीं होगा या जो एफ टू में होगा एफ वन में नहीं होगा एक पॉसिबिलिटी आपको जरूर मिली नो नाउ लेट्स फाइंड द नॉर्म ऑफ दिस डिफरेंस वट आर दीज एफ वन एंड एफ टू दे आर द करेक्टरिस्टिक फंक्शन सो दे आर एक्चुअली सिक्वेंसेज दे आर द मेमोरी ऑफ सी दे आर द मेमोरी ऑफ सी नॉट या दे आर द मेम्बर्स ऑफ एल इनफिनिटी नॉट द मेम्बर्स ऑफ सी दे आर द मेम्बर्स ऑफ एल इनफिनिटी ओके दे आर द मेम्बर्स ऑफ और दे बिलोंग टू एल इनफिनिटी आर नॉट दिस काय एफ वन एंड काय एफ टू काय एफ वन एंड एंड काय एफ टू ओके this uh, are the members of uh, l infinity l infinity means as a set of all bounded sequences okay to so, uh, mera uh, mera point ye hai jo jo chi f1 hai ye kya hai it's a, it is a characteristic function chi f2 ye bhi characteristic function dono characteristic function. so their function is from wire to wire their function is from n to the set of real numbers so any such function is called a sequence it's like they are actually sequences right ye aapko clear ho gaya काय एफ वन और काय एफ टू दोनों क्या है सुकेंसेस है दे आर फंक्शन इज फ्रॉम एन टू आर राइट देखिये ये पॉइंट इसमें बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है दीज काइज दे आर एक्चुअली फंक्शन दे आर एक्चुअली सुकेंसेस अब क्या ये सुकेंसेस बाउंडेड सुकेंसेस है अब आपको देखिए इस इस सुकेंसेस की टर्म्स क्या है इस सुकेंस के दो ही वैल्यूज है बिकॉज दे आर द करेक्टरिस्टिक फंक्शन अब पहला पहला वैल्यू इसका क्या होगा जैसे काय एफ वन है ये एक सुकेंस है ठीक है एक इसका फर्स्ट वैल्यू क्या होगा वो डिपेंड करेगा ये जो वन है क्या वन एफ वन में है अगर वन एफ वन में है देन इट्स वन इसके बाद आपको सेकंड चेक करना टू टू क्या एफ वन में अगर एफ वन में देन इट्स वन अगर नहीं एफ वन में देन इट्स जीरो तो ये जो सुकेंस होगी ना इस सुकेंस की टर्म या तो जीरो है या वन है या जीरो है इट्स लाइक दैट सो इट्स ऑब्वियसली अ बाउंड सुकेंस इट्स ऑब्वियसली बाउंडेड कन्वर्जन तो नहीं है बट इट्स बाउंडेड सुकेंस सो बोथ काय एफ वन एंड काय एफ टू दे आर बाउंडेड सुकेंसेस तो आई थिंक मुझे पहले मेंशन करना पड़ेगा दे आर दे आर बाउंडेड सुकेंसेस तो इसको करने से पहले फर्स्ट वी मेंशन दिस सो क्लियरली क्लियरली फॉर ईच सेट एफ इन कर सी एफ दिस एफ दिस काया एफ इज ए सुकेंस इज ए सुकेंस कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ ऑनली टू टर्म जीरो एंड वन कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ टू टर्म्स जीरो and one and therefore bounded and therefore therefore a bounded sequence to ye sequences kya hogi ye bounded sequences hogi that is chi f jo hai it is in l infinity for all f belongs to cursive they are all bounded sequences now let's take any two subsets of n now let f1 f2 they are in f such that f1 not equal to f2 okay then then there exist n in n such that n is in f1 and f1 mein hoga but 